Hey guys, I'm back. So here is a badly focused function generator I built. Now in the description, there the, I actually got this off somebody else's website. This is not my own design. It has It has a couple of outputs. Triangle, sine, and square, if I remember correctly, which I don't usually. Adjustment potentiometer for the frequency. Doesn't have duty cycle or amplitude adjustment, um, just frequency adjustment. And all the grounds are connected, so this ground is connected to the ground of the input. Just takes regular DC. I have it powering 12 volts. You can use 9 volts. I have my cheap oscilloscope here. I'm working on getting a replacement, but it might be a while. Um, I have it set to AC coupling 1 volt per division. Um, I guess I'm just going to demo it out here. Um, and um, this, uh, I wrote a manual for this. This very, this specific one that I built here, so obviously not all of them are going to be the same, but mostly for the description of the circuits, the uh, the link to the website and everything is in the manual. The manual is in a um, PDF um, format. It's going to be, or Word, PDF or Word, I don't know, uh, whichever one's more convenient for me, is going to be uploaded onto my website. I'm going to link that in the description for this video. So I shall just demo it out now. Um, I will just connect it to the ground. Ground is common, like I said, so doesn't matter. Plug it in, and here we have what looks like the sine wave. So as you can see, here's the sine wave. It's not great, doesn't really look much like a sine wave. That's because it's using the diodes here. You see those diodes um, right there? It's using them because diodes have a sort of sign or this, whatever you would call this, like, response between my fingers. Um, and so they're using the response, and they have uh, diodes in series. You have four, uh, two are in series, and they're both opposite directions, so you can get both polarities for the um, signal. This is not a great sine wave, but it'll do in a pinch, I guess. Um, you know, not nothing great or anything, but it'll... It'll do, I guess. You can see the square wave here. I'm just going to vary the frequency. It uses a 1 meg frequency adjusted. I only have a regular um, 1 meg potentiometer. I really should be a 10 turn pot because it's very, very um, finicky. It's difficult to get the knob to be in the right place. So I might add a, a, like a fine, this one be the coarse adjustment, and then add a fine adjustment later on. Um, but the square wave gets pretty good up until you turn the frequency all the way up. And when you do, it starts to have a lengthy rise time. If I move it over here, it has a 20 microsecond rise time. And if I'm to turn the frequency down a bit, it... Uh, okay, so it seems to stay on a 20 microsecond rise time. As you can see, I'm just twisting the pot over the entire frequency range here. So, um, rise time's not great. Um, I would prefer something like, you know, obviously if you're going to pay money for a signal generator, you should get, you know, nanosecond rise time. But microsecond rise time isn't even that great for something you build. Uh, even a 555 timer will, you know, beat that by a bit. But just beware if you're going to build this, the rise time isn't great. It's about 20 microseconds. But other than that, it's a very clean wave. There's no uh, high frequency ringing there or anything. Um, very clean waveform. It's very nice. Here is an issue. This is the triangle wave. Anyway, if I'm going to change the frequency a bit and change our um, time base, you can see that um, time base changes very slowly. Anyway, this the, the, they vary in amplitude um, by a lot. Actually, the signals are never aren't the same amplitude. But anyway, uh, my triggering system on this thing is broken. Anyway, if I hold it, you can see there's the triangle wave. Right, it looks pretty nice. Right, very triangular. So now if I can turn the frequency all the way up and change the time base, you can see that it's not a great shape for a um, triangle wave. It's, it's you know, down there, it's jumpy a little bit at the top. It looks more like a bad square wave or something. See, if I, if I turn it up, it becomes just, you know, average. And I, these waveforms do have it if I have it on AC coupling, if I switch it to DC. Um, my scope freezes. There we go. Okay. So it appears that this triangle wave has no DC offset. Um, there's a square wave. You see if I switch it 
from there is it on DC, a, DC coupling and AC coupling. It's obviously stuck in the middle, so it, it doesn't have much of a DC offset. It's low is on the low of the power supply. It's shown the triangle wave has a slight DC offset of about 0.75 volts. Oh no, sorry, that's 5 volts per division. If we go 1 volts per division, oh, so that's got us quite significant, almost a 5 volt per division offset. I am using a 12 volt input, but you're only supposed to use 9. And the triangle wave, um, oh, sine wave, sorry, um, has a similar offset. So here we go, I have an unmaxed frequency. It's at 20 microseconds. And so the entire waveform from the front, right there, to the front, I'm going to count the division, that's 1 two, three, four, about five. So five times 20, that's 100 microseconds. 100 microseconds per division is 10 kilohertz, right? So it goes from 10 kilohertz. Now if I turn it all the way to the other end of the spectrum, I'll have to adjust my time base. It's going to be about, uh, let's see, we're at 20 microseconds now. One, two, three, four. All right, one, two, three, four. So four. Four times 20 is 80 microseconds, and 80 microseconds is approximately 12 and a half hertz. It goes, it does the whole frequency, whole audible frequency range. <coughs> um, I, you know, it's great in a pinch, but really, I would prefer something better. But great for you know one op amp that this thing uses. It's great. So you know, I just built it on some perf board, so you can see I need, need to make that many power connections, I just cut that out for the um, DC input jack. It's, it doesn't even need that many um, components, really, if I if we open it up here. It's a wiring mess, but honestly there's not much to the circuit. So, thanks for watching.